This is a demonstration of Leaf Spy Pro with Leaf Logger. Select the app on the Android phone and it starts up with some basic screens. This is whatever the status of my car was when I disconnected earlier today. The software has several screens and I'm not going to focus on the functionality of Leaf Spy Pro, just what you need to do to get the logging to work. Some of the other screens, braking performance, battery cell voltages. On the bottom left, there's a uh, there'll be a way to get to the settings screen. And the settings that I'm concerned about here in the logging section, make sure that enable data logging is checked. Then 15 seconds next to it, that's what I usually leave. That's how many seconds between logs. 15 seconds is pretty good. You want at least under a minute. And make sure that enable GPS is also on. Then you'll get the GPS points within the logs as well. In the website itself, you log in and you'll get to your most recent trip. Here is my most recent trip home from work. You'll see the state of charge on the left hand side, temperatures of the batteries, as well as the ambient temperature, and my path on a Google map. Down below is a table with all of the associated information. And you can zoom in and scroll around on the map to get more details of your trip. So to upload your log, you go to the Upload screen and you choose a file. I keep my files on Dropbox so that they're immediately on my computer as soon as they're made on the phone. I don't have to sync anything, it's automatically done. I click on my most recent log, which is the CSV file, and it'll upload and import into the database locally. The, uh, any duplicates will be ignored and thrown away. I've already uploaded this log, so they're all duplicates and all ignored. When you go back to view the chart, you'll go back to your most recent trip. I want to go one before that. There's an extra point there. And you'll see my path, thermal data. If you roll over any point on the map, you'll see the associated point in the state of charge on the left-hand side light up show you where you are on the state of charge with respect to that point on the map. And the table down below will also highlight the line corresponding to your position. Additionally, if you roll over the state of charge or the thermal data, you'll get the more, more details on that specific point. I'm working on correlating it so that if you roll over the state of charge, the point on the map will light up as well, and vice versa. Any point on your line of your path that you roll over will automatically light up in the table and light up in the state of charge. I'm going to choose another drive I did here. This was, I knew I was trying to wring out every last volt in my battery there, and I wanted to see what the, how much charge I had when I had left. Sorry, how much charge was left when I got to my destination. And I could see that pretty good here. The batteries start to heat up as the ambient temperature goes up a little too. That's pretty much it. Contact me for a login, and I can send you a free login and some basic instructions on how to get started.